Hello everyone, Russell Wright, NetworkEmpireThemeZoom.com. I have a very special interview and site review. This is actually a case study created by Matt DeCruz in his local business in South Africa called the Sassy Salon. This is Matt's wife and business partner. This is a very, very successful uh, salon for hair, wedding, all kinds of stuff we're going to get into. But this is an amazing case study of website side architecture, yes, but also a lot of other things such as conversion. But we're going to talk a lot about what's going on here. Now I have on this call Jimmy Kelly and Sue Bell also to go over this amazing case study. For those of you who have not yet seen the case study, this is all part of our Tech Foundation One training, certification level training at NetworkEmpire.com, also called Researching, Planning, Building, and Optimizing Your SEO Silo Money website with my friend Matt DeCruz, myself, Sue Bell, and Jimmy is also weighing in on week four, I think, of the course, Sue. Is it four where he comes in, talks about link preparation? Week Can't three, wait. yes. Week three. I mean, it's getting the course. Yeah, this is a perpetual mastermind course, and you can read about what this is. It means once you pay, you're always a member. Once a member, always a member. What happens inside Tech Foundation One stays inside Tech Foundation One. This has been dubbed the Harvard University training course of online technical and SEO architecture, as well as persuasion architecture. Again, you can read this sassy case study for free on the part one dot market hole dot com. Okay, this is a tech foundation training. You can go we're gonna actually be going through this today and talking to you about it and the meaning. We're gonna be extracting the meaning for you and Jimmy and Sue are gonna weigh in and talk to you about this. So let's move right over. First of all Matt, why don't you just tell us a little bit about this case study and how it came about and what you derived from it. And again, Sue, Jimmy, when you wanna jump in and talk about the implications for some of our listeners and watchers or viewers, please do so. Hey, Russell, yeah, the, the core of the case study essentially was what I wanted to prove was how powerful silo architecture is on its own and what happens when we start adding certain components to the WR framework gotcha. to enhance the power of the silo architecture. That's, that was at the heart of the case study. Gotcha. So okay. essentially what we did there was we just created the silo architecture, we wrote the content, we put our first, first version up on the on the on the, on the, on the start to get it live, mm -hmm. and then we watched it and, and saw what happened, how it, how it moved, and how did it, how did it actually compete, and how did it come up against the competitors, and basically within the first two or three weeks we got our first leads pouring in with no backlinks, no special tricks, nothing fancy, it was just the site and silo architecture. And it's because just of how we build the stuff out, the messages were clear, clearly the search engines understood what was going on and they could see, okay, cool, this website does this. And they started pushing us leads very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. But like with any website, there's always little tweaks and changes you've got to make to make things run smoother and better. So with the case study, I went through a few of the iterations to show us what we done, when we did it, and what the impact was. So ideally, just to sum this all up, the, the whole point of the case study is to just show the guys, look, you don't have to do everything at once. If you just do things in the process to teach the guys, they will get the results. And the reason why we use the real world business is because we didn't want to, in Tech Foundation, say to the guys, well, we got this site up and it looks like this. We wanted real results, real website, real people, real business. So mm -hmm. everything done here is legit. It's a, a proper business and it's been butter money. So it works. In this case, it just verifies what happened when we did certain things. Gotcha. Okay. So before we got on this call, uh, my entire team was talking about the site and uh, Jimmy was definitely commenting on some of these test things. Shall we just, Sue, what do you recommend that we go through each one of these tests one by one? Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay. So let's just talk about this. What we're looking at here, Matt, is the keyword groups. Is this this is the uh, the visibility across a lot of keywords, or what is this particular thing? Yes. Essentially, what you want to track the keywords is I take each silo and the, the keyword DNA within that silo. So it's the silo keywords, the category keywords, and the supporting article keywords, plus the keyword DNA, and I put them all into one pot. And then what I do is I label the pot by the actual silos. So we've got the wedding, make the hair, the extension, and then our branded keywords. Okay. And the so colors show us essentially how things move. 
So just to slow things down a little bit, because a lot of our viewers are not a part of our training, um, each one of these, again, the name of the course is planning, researching, planning, and building your SEO website, so the architecture side. Of course, there's a lot more in that. But for the, for the viewers who may not know what that is, Sue, you always give the best description and definition of website side architecture. Could you give us a, a two or three sentence? Sure. So silo architecture is where you've got um, your main pages or your top level pages. Those are your silo landing pages. And then underneath each silo is a set of pages that supports that topic. And those pages are all interlinked together. So in this case, you'd have um, a wedding silo, which mm -hmm. would consist of a wedding landing page, and then uh, probably five or six pages at least underneath that that discusses all of the things wedding in that business. So sure. the wedding hairstyles, the wedding makeup, um, all of the things that they do and that they participate in. So all of those pages link together so that the search engines understand that the theme of those pages is wedding. And that allows you to rank those wedding pages easier than if they weren't supported by each other. So then in the next silo, you've got makeup. And that's going to be about all things makeup. And this is going to be more generic makeup. This isn't specifically wedding makeup. Gotcha. And you don't link the wedding makeup over to the other makeup pages because you keep them different. And that yeah. way, wedding makeup ranks easier. And your other keyword terms, because they're, the other pages are all about just makeup stuff, mm -hmm. they're going to rank easier for makeup terms. Gotcha. So in this little example we have over on our wiki page, this would be like wedding and all things wedding under it. This would be makeup, all things makeup under it. This would be hair, right? Kind of like that? Yeah, but exactly. It, but it ha one of the things that Matt teaches brilliantly, we all do actually in the course, is the ability to determine based on your own business architecture what your silo architecture should be. And then on top of that, uh, it's, we're definitely the only training in the world that connects all of that technical expertise to uh, persuasion architecture, which is the kind of copy that will convert. So we cover all of it in the course. I'm actually pretty amazed and proud of the certification level trainings that we have because it's what I would have wanted when when I was first starting out, Sue, in 2007. Exactly. I mean, it was really yep. confusing for people. And, and what Matt's got here is he's actually showing the results, um, not to get into the minutia of all the things. He had to, in order to build the SASE site for a real bona fide business, it's a doing business and pulling in leads hand over fist in that local area, is he had to be clear from a business perspective what was being sold, and then he had to write the copy for it so that it ranked and also converted, and he has a technical expertise to incorporate this stuff so that you rank for multiple keywords using far fewer inbound links than your competition because you have the right internal linking structure. Does that summarize it? You guys all agree with, with that? Yeah. Okay. And you used two links. <laughs> and you did what? Say that? There's only two backlinks. That's done all this. Only two backlinks. There's only two backlinks. Okay. So you haven't even t bothered to really do any serious <laughs> link building. Okay. <laughs> now, keep, in, keep in mind, <laughs> those of you who have been listening to us for years, you've heard us say you can rank probably since 2010 or somewhere about that. You can rank up to for uh, many keywords, sometimes thousands on major shopping cart sites, uh, for up to 80 to 90% fewer inbound links. This is an example of that on a smaller scale for local, uh, but we can vouch for that across the board in hundreds of niches that we've, and major verticals that we've consulted on in the last 10 years. And interestingly enough, it's not really changing that much. Would you agree, Jimmy? Like, you've, you know, you've been working with us for the last year and a half or so, and would you say that you don't see signs of silo architecture going away when it's done right, and how that connects to backlinking? I mean, what's, weigh in a little bit on silo architecture. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think, um, you know, with siloing, you know, it's great for the search engines and, and really trying to push the juice down through uh, the pages that you want to get ranked or that are more important for you from a, you know, SEO perspective. But, you know, I think a big reason why Google also likes that, you know, goes back to to the user experience. You know, I can't tell you how many sites I've gone to where it's just a jumbled mess. Right, and there's no search function on the site. So, <laughs> yeah, you can't find um, anything. Yeah, if, if I experience frustration in the first little bit that I'm on a site, you know, I'm I'm You're gone. I'm I'm to the next thing. Exactly. So. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's just go a little bit deeper into this uh, case study. 
somebody jump in here. Uh, where are we at, Matt? What are we looking at? This is the higher visibility index. Give us a tour of this chart. Yeah. Um, okay, right. So what we have, if you can just scroll up a little bit, Russ, mm -hmm. just so we can see the top image and this, this chart at the bottom, just so the guys can get the correlation. Okay, you can stop there. Um, what we did in this case study, uh, what I was testing was um, on each silo, from the business point of view, the wedding channel, the wedding silo was the most important because that's where we essentially make the most money first. Okay, and that's mm -hmm. what we focus on. We, we, we flushed out the contract quite a lot, and that's the green one that we've got over here, the green line in the bar further down mm -hmm. on the chart. Mm -hmm. The makeup silo, we used thin content. I wanted to see, okay, what happens between the three, con the three silos when we compare them? So it was wedding hair and makeup. Uh, so on the makeup silo, we had super thin content with maybe an image. On the hair silo, we had basically 200 or more words. And then in the wedding silo, we had all the pages fleshed out. And what this chart shows us is essentially how these keyword groups have all moved. Wow. Now, if we look at the image number one, you can see that we've got 23 keywords within that wedding silo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what we're doing is we're looking at that whole silo as a group, that the whole KDNA, the keyword DNA, we're looking at all 23 keywords, how they're actually moving as we're tweaking things on the actual site. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting when you look at this, how the site's actually growing when we do specific things. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Matt, uh, just to slow you down a little bit, and maybe, Sue, again, you do an amazing job of explaining this. What is keyword DNA? I get that. I use it a lot, and then people look at me like, "What do you?" Because they've never heard it before. What does what is KDNA? It's, since it's a term you pretty much created, what does that mean? It's the set of keywords that presents the theme for the page. So, in other words, when you're talking about a particular topic, you don't just use one keyword over and over again. You use several related keywords. Right. And so what we teach is you want to figure out what those keywords are before you start. Once you figure figured out what the pain is in the marketplace and how you want to describe it, then finding the keywords that you want to use to tell the story becomes pretty apparent. So you find your main keyword for the page, mm -hmm. which is the one that you're going to use in your headline. Okay. And then you find the supporting keywords that you want to use in your page. And we've got this amazing tool called Network Empire Builder mm -hmm. that allows you to keep track of all these keywords. Right. So then instead of just having like 20 or 30 keywords that your site is about, you've got 100 or 200 keywords. And so that set of keywords is your keyword DNA. Gotcha. And so we're, what we were looking at was for the wedding. Okay, gotcha. And so, right. what, Matt, what you're really saying here is that you're, this is tracking the entire cluster of, of the key DNA, correct? I just want the audience to be really, our viewers to really get yes, that. It's not just correct. one. Because most SEOs and small business owners, they're used to like tracking one keyword at a time. That's not what you're doing here, right? No, I like to watch the whole silo as a whole. I like to watch how it's all moving. And depending on what we do on the pages, I like to see are they impacting or improving. Because for okay. us, it's all about getting as much visibility across all those keywords. We want them all ranked, right. not just one or two of them ranked. Right. One of the things so that's why I watch from a top-level perspective. Gotcha. One of the things that was confusing for me until I understood your, uh, the software you were using <laughs> is I didn't understand what this, these numbers were on the side. And you gave us a real, in the case study for our viewers, when you go and look at it, just keep in mind that Matt gives you a very good definition before you get into the case study of what this means. This tool that he's using was designed to, to track a whole bunch of keywords at the same time. Uh, and so they have a rating system. And from what I understand, the higher the rating, is this, that's the way it works, Matt, the higher the rating, the more. Explain that. Yes. Yeah, essentially the way that it works is a point system. If your keyword's in position number one, you get 30 points. If your keyword is greater than 30, you get no points. So all the keywords that are between 0 and 30, in uh, sorry, position 1 and 30, mm -hmm. you score points. Mm -hmm. So what's good about that is when you look at the index, this visibility index, and mm -hmm. you compare it to one of your competitors, you can actually see how your site is, how much more visibility you actually have. And in this case study, it's up to six times more visibility than any of the competitors in the locale that we're competing with. Gotcha. So that... That, that allows me to know how, much, how hard I must start pushing this website. Are we actually winning the war or are we actually losing the war? And that's how I sort of play that game, is the, by watching the index and how, what they're ranking for. We take their positions and then we also cover the, the, the tsunami set around the specific keywords we're targeting. Gotcha. And we swallow those as well. Okay, excellent. 
<laughs> All right, so we'll move on down to the next uh, uh, ranking graph here. You want to tell us what this one is and give us some feedback? Okay. So on this one here, what I did was when we launched the site, uh, within a week or two, um, we really started getting leads from this website. And what we did over the period of a year was we, we just watched and we did four tests. Um, the one was the first, the content with lots of instant content, lots of images, mm -hmm. what happens to the sites. Then we addressed the page that issues because of all the, the, um, the images. Mm -hmm. As soon as we fixed that issue up, we got this massive spike, this big jump. From where we were, we went up to like 300, 300 score index. Okay. Then what we did is we verified the site and submitted it to Freebase. Mm -hmm. And we did all the semantic markup on the site. And we got this next climb, which gradually climb, climb, climb. And I waited for it to flatline and plan out. And as soon as it planned out, the next thing we did was we did a bit of on-page SEO. Is this because this we wanted to demonstrate. Yeah, is this when, you were, is this when you were hanging out uh, in Phoenix with us? When you yes. and I were working on the Mac CD yes. and stuff together? Yes, that's correct. That's when we did that. Wow, that's quite a pop-up just from, from that CDN, isn't it? Yeah, just addressing the the the, the page uh, the page load on the site, yeah. making the site load faster. It, it has a major impact. I was surprised as well. Okay, I interrupted you right when you were in the moment of glory there. So why don't you finish and tell me what happened okay. here? So the next jump was the semantic freebase submission. Mm -hmm. We verified the site. We submitted our stuff. We said this is what we do. This is who we are. This is where you can find us. We did the markup. And then um, the last one, number four, which was on-page SEO, which we typically do first, I just did that one to show the dip. When you make changes on your site, as you're moving on, you always get that waterfall where it drops down and then it bounces back after a period of time. Mm -hmm. So on this chart, everything's ranked daily. We're watching it daily so we can actually see how things move. And you can check over a few days, it starts coming back pretty quickly. But usually when people see those drops, that's when they, they run to the hills, they freak out and they start doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Right, right. What you usually want to do there is just chill out and just give it a bit of space and let it do what it has to do. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excellent. So um, this, this shows us the four tests that we've done. We've done no backlinking, we've done no promotion yet on that. and. Um, we, we got much, much more visibility than any of our competitors across the, the internet in the locale that we're competing in. Excellent. We're basically owning it at the moment. Yeah, so all of these steps and more are essentially what our students in the Tech Foundation One training learn how to do. They focus on setting up that site uh, so that they can follow these similar steps, right, regardless of the market or niche. And not everybody's model is precisely the same, but essentially in that training, they're going to be building their silo structure and following your similar steps, right? And they're also yes. going to be understanding the vitamin, the painkiller, and we're going to be systematically showing them literally the equivalent of 50 years of skilled SEO persuasion and uh, content creation from the Network Empire team. And that's pretty exciting. And that's before, you know, this is the first course that you really need to take, first certification course you really need to take before you move on to our other trainings that show you how to generate traffic automatically, how to implement uh, Jimmy and Sue's evil genius uh, in SEO in terms of these outer layers. That's what excites me the most is that you have to have a solid foundation with the stuff that Matt has just shown you uh, in order to be able to implement the trickier stuff and the more advanced training. And what's interesting is that I think a lot of people try to do, they do it backwards. They try to do the tricks and hacks and techniques without doing the most fundamental things, but just your on-site internal website optimization and linking. I also love the yeah. I also love the fact that a lot of what you're teaching, Matt, they can start to use our plugins and you know a lot of the technical mayhem that you know seven years ago. I remember you know coming to Sue and trying to show her how is you know creating silo structures on the site, and she'd say no, that's wrong, and I'd come back to her again, no, that's wrong. You know, thirty attempts later. She was like, I'll do it. Get move. <laughs> remember, that, yeah, remember, remember, that, remember that Saturday Night Live, you know, thing where the guys just move, you know, the tech guy? That's what it was like. And she, said, she was like, Russell, stick to marketing copy, dude. I'm like, fine. But uh, and it wasn't a lot of trying. But now even I can do the technical implementation of a, of a silo structure. Now, one of the things that I teach, yeah. one of the things I teach in that training is, of course, week two and three, or mostly two, on persuasion architecture, but after years, uh, you know, the, the entire team has come together and learned uh, and created a way to integrate 
all of your copy. And we call this the perpetual lead magnet machine, but it's actually become quite a bit more. I'm just, um, you know, talking a little bit about the power of this course. Let me see if I can find that. So, do you guys have anything? If else? you could jump to like the test one, Russ. What are yeah, you, let's what, go to test one. Yeah, what you can do is we can actually just flip through the test quickly, mm -hmm. and they can actually see the charts where we start comparing against competitors, so they can start seeing the verifications of. Okay, cool. What what we've done here versus who we're up against. This is a huge case study. I got to say, this is a really very very comprehensive. Okay, what are we looking at here? This is a visual revolution. Explain that. What does that mean? Yeah, this is um, basically visit evolution is is also almost like a, um, like the visibility score, but it's looking at how, as how the traffic's actually growing on the site, how much people are actually coming in. Okay. So we ha we're tinkering around. When we had a problem with the page loads and the images and all that kind of stuff, we only got so much impressions from Google. Mm -hmm. okay? And this is typical for most websites. Mm -hmm. sort of, you'll see what the competitors we're up against. They're also hovering around you on the bottom, like the slugs. But as soon as we tweaked those things, the site just took off. And that's what gave us that massive stepping effect where the, now the visibility. All the I'm sorry, Matt. Where was the competitive? The competitive. I didn't understand that part. Um, let me just get to that page as well. Yeah. <clears throat> now, as I, was, I was just speaking about the visit evolution that chart at that point in time. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so if you scroll a little bit down, Russ, on this page. What you can see is um, this is a little image of all the images, the, the leads coming in gotcha. from this website. If you scroll mm -hmm. slightly down, yep. And there, that little blue image. There we can see the dates, and and these are all leads coming from the lead capture form mm -hmm. with people wanting stuff. So then we go a bit down. There's an email from the clients. They're asking us exactly for what we're promoting. That's what they're asking for, and it's for four ladies. So what we're teaching Tech Foundation of how to define our markets and understand our market personalities. Exactly what I discovered, this email verified it by saying, I'd like to inquire about your bridal makeup. My wedding's on the 20th of December, 2014. I need makeup to be done for four ladies, myself included. So there's five leads of one lead. Wow. So the LTV for the company is massive. Is it possible for you to please send me a price list? And yeah. this is one of the weddings Sarah did two weeks back. Let me ask you this. Would you say for Sarah that the wedding, like this is kind of a back end, like this is your, the, definitely the biggest payout that you have for your company, which is this is a more expensive product or? Or is it the training? Yeah, the, 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 the weddings, essentially, if you think about it, uh, when people come in for a haircut, they might spend a 1000 or in dollars, they might spend $100, $200 for a haircut mm -hmm. with the products and stuff that they buy. Yeah. When they come for the wedding, it's the whole entourage. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at maybe 500 to to $1,000 nice. that that one lead generates. Gotcha. So from the SEO point of sight and the legion side, this is the most profitable lead we can generate for the business. Right, so then, that's your back end. Yeah, our back end means they come back after the wedding and they come back and they get into the cycle. Then oh, we get okay. the continuity which kicks in after. Continuity, their so life, the LTV is super high on this. Right, that's their lifetime value, gotcha. Okay. Very, very cool. Okay. And let me just go down a little so bit. So if you scroll here's the, down here's, a little more. Yep, I'm on the conclusion for test one. We have a little bit of delay in our line here. I think that's uh but I'm now on conclusions for test one. Can you see that, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, so you can see here the Sassy, this is Sassy, and then we're up against Bliss, which is one of the, the oldest hair salons in the area, which is quite popular. But you can see their visibility for all their keywords. Uh, I basically scraped their site and pulled all the keywords I could find. And what the ranking tool shows me is all the keywords I have versus what they have. So mm -hmm. I can actually compare everything in my keyword DNA to them. And they're only targeting maybe seven or eight keywords. We're targeting hundreds. And we're ranking for those keywords and getting the traffic. And you can check the difference in the evolution as a site's grown. Sassy's visibility keeps on increasing where they are sort of flatlining. Their site's basically dead. They're yeah. not moving. The site's not working for their business. Yeah, you kind they of... They've not utilized the web. Yeah, you kind of demolished them. Yeah, we've, not, we've only flicked them. It's like we shot a booger at them and they fell over. It's, it's nothing's... <laughs> it's with all the guys. If you look at the next picture, that's camhaic.coza is another one. Um, and then later on, there's a new salon, which is a Facebook page. We've, we've smashed them as well. Okay. Um, so there's like five, five salons in all these graphs. As you scroll down, you can see the same type of effect. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So when it comes to like local and silo architecture, it's, it's extremely, extremely powerful. Okay, good. 
Yeah, that's really, really good. Okay. And then there's just more. So everybody look at this case study that's live on our site, and you'll be able to see exactly what Matt did on that. Okay. I'll say here's that you also cover in that was just a sorry rest around you also cover the site speed and adding the CDN I see how deep do you want to go into this yep. today uh, have we covered enough or do you want to continue to go in it with our viewers I think so you want to keep going into it mm -hmm. or are we covering no, I up? think that this gives guys a, a feel for what it is that we did we, we did an overview of everything and we went further into the silo structure and mm -hmm. and you can get a feel for what's going on here yeah, good. And so what I want to emphasize that here's a little bit of an insight into how we systematically show you how to repeat the success that Matt has just gone over here. In the training, we go over, you know, how to design your site for human beings but still rank like crazy. And we give you a step-by-step -step what we call a stackable iterative system. First, we help you do market research, probably one of the biggest hidden gems probably due to the fact that I'm not marketing the course enough with the benefits of market research is we are very much known for the creation of our software tool called Kraken, which is not a keyword tool. It's a swallow your market hole vertical market research tool, which helps you rank for thousands of keywords, not just one or two. Now, if you are doing a local site, of course, you don't have to get that big, but positioning yourself in the market with your pain is very important. We show Matt goes through the process of showing you how to do your key DNA and your EK DNA, that is our keyword research. Uh, part of the Tech Foundation One training is that a significant part of using the advanced software Kraken is done for you, at least for your first uh, uh, attendance of the uh, Tech Foundation One training. Okay, so the first time uh, we do that for you. Now you can audit the upcoming eight-week boot camps. You can attend as many of them as you want, but you only get your four hours of coaching with us once and you only get <clears throat> the done for you keyword research the first time but you're always a part of the mastermind group then we show you how to prepare the technical foundation which is going to give you the results that Matt uh, went over today we also show you how to properly create content and content that converts Matt and I spent a lot of time in the previous webinars and those boot camps uh, talking about what worked on SASE but as well as other sites and working one-on-one -on -one with students so you have real-world examples let me show you how to finalize launch and audit. we actually prepare you for certification level two by starting to set up the one feed system for you in other words we set you up for the next higher levels of advanced certification uh, by preparing you for the one feed uh, giving you the basic indoctrination and getting ready for tech foundation two which is an entirely different training system which generates massive traffic but can't really generate massive traffic to have this bullseye, the center of your, you have to create a target that's highly ranked and optimized before you can really benefit. Since we do, since you can rank higher using up to 80 to 90% fewer inbound links, uh, having this structure set up is really going to be beneficial when you begin to go to the advanced levels of our advanced training system. Now, we have been told by people who've been in the industry for years, it's the most advanced training certification level system in the world with five levels of advanced certification training. Just want to let you know that this is one of the core components, what we've shown you in this case study, before you can take advantage of our crazy software and ranking systems. Sue, do you have anything to add to this? Uh, uh, Jimmy, do you have anything to add before we wrap this conversation up? This has been perfect. I just wanted everybody in the team to weigh in on this case study. Jimmy, I'll let you go first. Yeah, you know, Russ, I... Yeah, I was going to say, there's some pretty valuable takeaways from this case study that he did. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, you know, the importance of the groupings of the keywords, mm -hmm. you know, by bringing in the, bringing in the silos, um, you get to see the uptick, you know, when the content is improved, and you see an uptick when the, um, when it's integrated semantically, and really you look at that, and it's a pretty cool play I think on Google's part I mean they you know and even the site speed is shown on here so yeah you know a lot of that is just uh, you know if you think about the customer base on Google's end you know they're they're trying to really reward those that that are gonna present the best information and uh, you know speeding up how fast that information can get to the person doing the query and it, it's just pretty interesting to see 
little tweaks and stuff like this are so crucial to just getting off to a great start, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you, you know, my background being engineering, you know, one of the most critical parts of building a house is the foundation. You know, if you if you start uh, putting all those beams and, uh, you know, other supporting structures on top of a weak base, the whole thing's just going to crumble at some point. But, you know, if you start out with a good base, it, it's going to take you a lot further, mm -hmm. and it's going to last a lot longer, and I, I think that's exactly what this course does for for people out there. Absolutely. And I just, I know this wasn't planned, Sue, but I just got to, I can't help myself. Um, I need to just talk. I mean, I just, I'm really excited and proud and, and honored to be working with the team this skilled, so I just, you know, it shows. This is level one. This case study is a part of level one certification, which is building, yep. uh, optimizing, and training. And I know, Sue, that we are booked solid for the advanced certification training in April, the live event, uh, quite quickly. Yep. And so you've told me privately that I'm not supposed to be selling or talking about it anymore in 2015. <laughs> However, I'm going to do it anyways, and you can flog me later. Uh, what I'm excited, well, the th thing is that the courses are always open, so listeners uh, are. that are excited, and I get this every day, even though you may not be able to get into the live of, the live event in April, you should still try, like, contact me on Skype, and I might be able to sweet talk to you on a good day with chocolate or something, but um, really, we're kind of sold out on that, but you can attend the next one. We're possibly going to be creating another one towards the latter part of the year, but this is the level one certification, but notice that there's five levels, so... Even though the level one certification, this is what our tech training we've been talking about today with this case study, it's really setting you up for level two. And level two is the uh, kickstarting massive traffic and sales conversion, where Jimmy really is full on in there. Like Jimmy is talking about stuff in there that's super scary. Like he just, you know, he kind of stands back a little bit in tech foundation one, and we pull him in on week three. And he talks about the power. So he's kind of preparing you for the advanced SEO and traffic stuff. And, you know, some of the stuff that we teach with SEO, we only talk about at live events. But kickstarting massive traffic and sales conversion is the closest thing, combined with some of what we call the advanced uh, traffic upgrades, like the traffic, um, probably the most popular course that we've ever done, at least the unexpected popularity of the traffic hospital panna and recovery pre prevention, led by Jimmy. These, this is like icing on the cake, and these are courses in their own right. But this is all part of the relationship between our advanced upgrade courses and the level one through five certification leading all the way up to the event. So I just want to make you aware, you can go to swallowyourmarkethole.com to look at the stacked levels. What's exciting about this, and people have thanked us profusely, is they, you know, thank you. These are perpetual mastermind groups. You pay for each training course once, and you're always in, and... The training, the, the cost of the course is subtracted for your live certification event. So even if you don't make it in April, you can come to the next one with a reduced price. So it's almost like, a, I don't know if it's a good comparison, but like a layaway program or accreditation program, where if you've taken something, we don't forget what you've paid for. So rather than having to pay our $30,000 fee for our, our live certification training, which is done by you know some agencies pay us 30000 cold to just show up and because they don't, you know, plan in advance and the rest. So you can plan to learn and incorporate this stuff, and it's really, really exciting. Level three is actually our advanced automated systems, where we get into our super advanced automatic video traffic creation course. You know, in order to let you guys in, you can take these stuff independently, but we really like to have you educated on silo architecture first so that you can utilize all the benefits. Because as we've shown you here, if you don't plan if you don't have the the ability to rank higher using far fewer inbound links then everything that you do in these outer rings is less than optimized so we want you to be fully optimized by focusing on your money site really having a clear understanding of how to optimize i learned a ton in the traffic panda uh, course from jimmy and the domain authority stacking course uh, how to not make mistakes with my inbound link structures now we do set you up for the basics and Tech Foundation one, but really it's a fertile ground to focus and target the other advanced training systems that you'll get with us in your upcoming months. And you can learn at your own pace. You can take an entire year. Some students have taken two years to go through all these training courses. But the advantage is, is that we're a very solid community 
with extreme software and constant development to make your life easier with the most advanced integrated training system in the world. I love that. It's a really great thing to be able to share with people. We've watched people really transform, haven't we, Sue, over the last yeah. you know, four or five years. We've had people come in that were struggling by working a day job and you know, really beginning SEOs. And we have people now graduating from Tech Foundation 1, coming out of the traffic hospital course with Jimmy. I mean, the testimonials are just off the hook. I remember three years ago when I was struggling to try to you know, figure out how to get testimonials. Do I call people and this and that? Because there were plenty of them there, but people were too busy. Now they're just oozing out of the woodwork. Like literally, I've got uh, something like 30 or 40 testimonials that I haven't even had a chance to place on the pages anymore. Like they're just being volunteered with all of these courses and the way that they connect. So that's me just tooting our own horn a little bit because you guys don't tend to do that. You're too busy, you know, being technical and ranking sites hand over fist. I just want everybody to know that this training system is really crazy. Please do come to the site. Please do see our endless testimonials. You can see them here. <laughs> we need to get a we need we need to get a support team person just to help me to archive the testimonials. That's how crazy this stuff is at this point. So that being said, we really look forward to seeing you on the inside. Remember, you can sign up for the Tech Foundation One training course at any time. Even though we are currently today is January sixteenth. 2015, we launched yesterday. You could easily get in if you wanted to. Um, now, Sue has told me that Matt's time is a little bit strained on this last one, so we might have to schedule your, uh, and my time is also strained. I do coach on some of the persuasion stuff. Um, you might have to wait till the next training session to actually get your one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, check in with the help desk. However, um, this course is always for sale. We have uh, over, I think, what is it, Matt? I think we have six eight-week boot camps already in the archives, in the webinar archives? Yes. I mean, we have a lot yes. of training already in there. You can very easily follow along with the homework assignments. I had one person write me and tell me, hey, the fourth um, webinar Tech Foundation training you did was really, really good. It was perfect for me because you had somebody in the audience that was in the same business model. I pulled away a lot of information from that and followed the homework assignment. You know, So that's really exciting stuff. So that's really what I wanted to say, and uh, I want to thank every team member here from the Network Empire team for being here. And uh, Matt, thank you so much for taking time. I know it's late in South Africa, and uh, thank you so much, Sue, Bell, and Jimmy. We're in the middle of ramping up for the live certification event. And uh, with that, I think we'll close this call, and we do look forward at some point seeing everybody here so that you can emulate the results of this case study. One of the things that I also wanted to add is that you're not required uh, to take Tech Foundation 1, which is uh, planning, researching, planning, and building your SEO silo site. If you want to take, for example, our massive traffic development, uh, all of these are standalone courses. So it's completely fine for you to take the Kickstarting Massive Traffic and Sales Conversion course. It's also completely fine. That's a standalone course. You, it's not a prerequisite. You don't have to take Tech Foundation Training 1. So you can come right in if you just want to focus on traffic. Some of you already have an SEO silo architecture site, and you've been with us for years. And that's why we do have it as a stackable system. However, if you want all the secrets of traffic, uh, there's tons of training in there already. We've already had a boot camp, and that boot camp is available for replay. And we're going to be launching another one. Please see the calendar on that page. So you can come right in at any time. Okay, another thing is it's also true for the automatic video traffic training course. Uh, you do not have to have a Tech Foundation 1 uh, SEO silo website. Some of you already have them and you already know the method and you've been trained. You can jump right in okay, to the automatic video traffic site. There's huge advantages with or without silo architecture to taking these courses and understanding what's in them. Now, also see the calendar. Each one of our sales pages and our information pages on these has a calendar that tells you when the next course is coming. Feel free to jump in at any time to learn this particular training. And up, uh, coming soon, today is January 16th, 2015, we have the Much Await. I'm very, very excited about this course. We're all working on this right now. Matt is working on this right now. This is level four, what we call automatic content broadcasting and distribution, really targeting the WR3 layer of the uh, system. Correct, Sue? That's really about the... It's WR2 and WR3. Okay, this is WR2. We're going to get into some of the connective tissue between WR2, WR3. This is advanced stuff. I'm not going to get into it too much right here. 
but people have been clamoring for this for years. So we're finally getting that one out the door. Now this is going to be, again, a regular perpetual mastermind training system, and it's really about bringing it all together in some crazy ways. By far the most powerful traffic, content, and SEO integration out there. Also be sure that you don't need to be a level one certification uh, graduate in order to take any of the advanced training courses headed by Jimmy and Sue. For example, the Traffic Hospital and Panda Recovery is again being sold hand over fist and has the most testimonials of any of the training courses that I've ever seen so far. Okay, um, Jimmy is, if you don't know who he is, please do visit jimmykelly.org. I'll put that in the blog article. Uh, this is the training system that uh, you get all the benefits of Jimmy's years of literally destroying websites to see how far he can push things, getting them de-indexed just to get them re-indexed again. This is a very, very powerful course. Again, these are all standalone. Okay, domain authority stacking, very, very powerful. Want to make sure that you guys know that you can purchase each, every one of these. Also, I'm also very excited about the upcoming Local Leads Empire course that was headed by Matt DeCruz and Sue Bell. I think we launched that in 2013. It's being revamped and updated for 2015. Probably towards the middle of the end of the year that'll be completed. We do have people purchasing this. It's mostly evergreen, wouldn't you say, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, but there's some new stuff uh, coming in that course for 2015. And this is all about, yes. this is really more about building a massive, large scale uh, online lead business. I want to make sure you guys know that exists. So again, all of these are standalone systems. Uh, we do recommend that you have a level one training at least if you're going to come to our live certification event. Otherwise, everything is standalone. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I wanted to be sure to cover that because once in a while, people are not clear. Do I have to go one at a time? I can't go to level three unless I go to level one. No, you can do whatever you want to do. We do recommend level one if you're going to come to our live event, but you can jump in at any time. Visit swallowyourmarkethole.com to check out the copy and learn about the benefits of each training system, and then just jump right in. All right, you guys, thank you so much, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the inside.